Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again for noon day prayers today. Evening. I uh, will start the prayers in about uh, a minute from now. And for that, thank you again for joining us. We'll be using the Book of Common Prayer for the order of Monday service on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you prefer to use uh, the online version, the link to that is in the comments. Few more seconds now we'll start. <coughs> Let us pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll be reading the Psalms, Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet. And a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, your willing tribute of my leaves and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, for I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. And he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. So that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll now read a portion of the scripture. We'll read Romans chapter 5, verse 5. The love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let's say the Lord's prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will. To comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all evil, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, before we continue in prayers, we will also give you an opportunity to uh, list your personal prayer requests in the comments. We'll be praying for them. I will be praying over this request, and if we don't cover everything today, we assure you that 
that we people pray over this request all through the week at the epiphany so please i give us some minutes to put in the prayer request before as before we continue the prayer Also, would like to say a few prayers today for, especially because of the current situation in the country and over the world. We'd like to pray for social justice, and the prayers for times of conflict, and also the prayers for those who influence public opinion. These prayers are on page 8 to 823, 824, and 827 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray the prayer for social justice. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart and especially the hearts of the people of this land that the barriers which divide us may crumble that suspicions will disappear and hatred cease that our divisions being healed we may live in justice and peace through jesus christ our lord amen pray the prayer for the times of conflict on page 824 of the book of common prayer O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to comfort one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I also will pray for those who influence public opinion. Almighty and everlasting God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. We ask that you direct in our time those who speak where many listen and write what many read. That, may they, that they may do their part in making the heart of these people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous, to the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we pray for personal prayer requests. Lord, we thank you once again for this time for the privilege that we have to call upon you, our Father, and we thank you because you always hear us. At this time, we come to lift up your people unto you. We pray for Joseph, that Lord, you meet him at this point of need. We pray for Gloria, for Hannibal, and for Fabio. We pray for our brethren who are suffering one infirmity or the other, who are oppressed of the devil. We ask for your healing. We ask for your comfort. We ask, Lord God, for succor for, for them in this time of their their, their trouble and distress. Lord, we pray for those who are in need of provision in one form or the other. We ask that you open your almighty and sufficient hands, Lord God, and pour out your blessing into their lives. We thank you for answering our prayers and we receive all of these things once again with thanksgiving through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, thank you once again for joining us. We would like to invite you to join us for prayers for compliance later today at 8 p.m. and for morning prayers every day of the week from 8, 8, 8 a.m. and compliance also every day of the week 8 p.m. Thank you and God bless you.